everyone, this is Katie Colleen with Colleen Cosplay here. Welcome back Colleen Clan, or if you are new, then come join the family. So today we have a very special guest star for this video, and that is Wally the Wheelchair. And we're going to do a little cosplay customization for Wally today. So I am an ambulatory wheelchair user. What that means is that I am still capable of standing and walking for some period of time. I can still, you know, stand and walk. I still need the use of a wheelchair to do certain activities, but I use Wally the wheelchair for walks in the park and also for conventions, except in 2020. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your very own Wheelchair banner! This is the official Fairy Tale Guild flag design. Just pops right off. I can make a different one for every cosplay. So let's get into how to make your very own cosplay wheelchair banner, starting with some patterning. Okay, so first let's take some measurements so we can have a flag that fits Wally perfectly. So I'm going to need how wide it is between the handles or however wide the back of your wheelchair is. Now we're also going to decide how long we want to make our wheelchair banner. This is something you'll just have to decide for yourself. I did however want to make it short enough that it wasn't getting in the way of the little back stopper thingies on the wheelchair. And now let's pattern it out. So I do my patterning on wrapping paper. So I'm just going to make a big rectangle with those two measurements that I took, width and height. So I want to add those little points into our pattern as well. So I know that the width is gonna be 16 inches. That's why I measure it on my wheelchair. And I wanna have six points, six of those little points along the bottom. And I want there to be a space in between each point, right? And I want the space and the point to be the same width, okay? And of that 16 inches, 16 divided by 11, that's 1.45 or about 1.5 inches per point or space, okay? So now I can just go along my pattern. This wrapping paper has like the little squares in it and each square is about an inch. So I can pretty quickly just kind of like count out my points and that will be kind of like the base for our pattern. Okay, so let's cut that all out. Here we go. Here's our pattern. Let's get into patterning some of those little details. So I'm just gonna start by marking the center of our pattern. That is gonna be the center stripe. And I decided that I wanted all of the borders to be one inch wide. So I'm just gonna do an inch on all sides. A few extra inches on the bottom, give us all some space for those points. This is how it's going to look. I'm gonna be cutting out our flag in this gold satin-y fabric. Very nice, shiny on one side, matte on the other. So I'm going to cut one layer of the full flag in the gold. And then we're really gonna cut into this pattern. So I'm going to cut all the little borders into separate pieces. I'm gonna cut out that center strip and I'm gonna cut out the two squares. So this is how it's gonna look for our second gold layer. It's all these little pieces. There were reference images saying that this was purple and pink and others that it was light red and dark red or purple and red. I ended up just voting on Instagram and having you guys choose and you all chose that you felt the lighter and darker red color looked better for the fairy tale guild flag. So that's what we're going with. Now I'm using leftover fabric for the rest of this project. I am really trying to not buy as much fabric and use my scraps. That being said, I made some pretty poor choices on fabric. So I'm using this red stretch fabric from my Wonder Girl cosplay. Second up is this fuzzy red fabric. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. Again, stretchy and fuzzy. I do not recommend using a stretch with a satin for a flag. I really suggest you just make it all satin. And you should be able to lay this all out and basically have your flag. It's very nice. So we're going to have to basically, like, it kind of reminded me of quilting. Maybe insulting to quilters to call it quilting but that's what we're going with. So I'm gonna take that center strip and I'm gonna sew it between our two red panels. So after I sew these seams, I'm also going to serge them and I'm going to top stitch them by going down the edges with a straight stitch. It just helps everything lay flat and look nice. So here's how it looks now. We have like our center block and this is gonna be when I'm gonna put the applique on. This is probably the most difficult applique I've done in like all of the applique I've done on this channel, which is a lot, which is a lot. It, 
So if you want to know all of the juicy details of how to do an applique stitch, I have tutorials for that. Now I'll link them in the description down below. I'm not really going to go in depth in this video. And as I appliqued, the, the poor fabric choice came back to haunt me and it kind of like stretched under the applique as I was stitching. So the final shape ended up being like a little bit warped. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now because the gold fabric had like skewed as I sewed it down, the actual symbol was not the right shape. So I've created like a new deformed like fairy tale symbol for this flag, but it's so subtle that you're never really gonna notice it. It doesn't bother me a lot, but it was a pain. It was really a pain to get this to all line up. Okay, so here's the finished applique stitch. It did turn out very nice despite all my struggles. So let's let's quickly kind of like quilt together the rest of this. We're gonna need to sew in our little squares in the corner. Now we just sew all the borders to the edges, just as you would expect. Just flip them over, pin them, and sew all our little borders together. Except I wanted to be very extra with this. So I purchased some gold trim, and I'm gonna put that along the bottom. So mm, add, that, add that little trim. I felt it was like a nice touch. And then those top and bottom pieces are also going to be sewn on and we'll have the full border. Okay, one other little, little extra touch. So those little squares that we sewed in, those are going to be what's holding up our flag. Now, I wasn't sure how well this satin would hold up to like the rigors of a cosplay convention. So I'm gonna take this stabilizer and I'm just gonna sew that in as well. I just want a little extra oomph like holding this together. So, and look at that. Now we just have the outer layer and the inside layer of our flag. So we can sew the outside to the inside. I lined up all our little points. It looks beautiful. So I'm gonna sew around all the edges and I'm gonna leave the top open. And this is important so we can flip it inside out. So after I've sewed all the little edges, all those tiny little corners, see I can just reach in. This is my favorite part. Just reach in and flip this inside out. Bam, there's our flag. I'm gonna have to kind of like pull out those little corners. So now I'm gonna need to close up this gaping hole so I'm just gonna flip the edges over and I'm gonna do a top stitch. Again, just that straight stitch along the edge. And I'm gonna continue that top stitch all the way around the flag. It's gonna have those points like nice and pointed. And then I'm gonna add the grommets. So I have this little grommet tool, it's very nice. So I'm just gonna cut a hole in the center uh, and I'm gonna stick my little grommet through and I'm gonna use the grommet tool. And that's gonna be a really great way of holding this up. I also kind of had the idea of like making my flag in a way that it could also be hung on the wall or even hung to like a flag pole and be used as an actual flag. Now that this is done, there are a few different ways that we can attach this to our wheelchair. So I do have handlebars on the back of my wheelchair so someone else can push me. It's very convenient. So I'm just going to make a loop with the trim and put that through the grommets and it can just hang from the handles. Super easy but not every wheelchair has these handles in the back to hang it from. So in that situation, we're gonna get a quarter inch elastic and then we're going to thread that elastic through the grommets, through both grommets, and we are going to tie it around the back of the wheelchair. Now, I don't really like how it kind of like sags when you just have it like normally tied around the wheelchair. So I'm actually going to put it on backwards and then flip the flag over the back. And this works much better. You don't need the use of any handlebars. The elastic is just tied around the back of the chair. So I hope this video was helpful for you to either make a super cool fairy tale guilt flag for yourself or to customize your own wheelchair just for funds or for cosplays. That's awesome. I have a huge amount of plans for customizing my wheelchair for cosplay and it's just going to take a while for those to become reality. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Bye!